guys, me host Super Sonic. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! It's the doll from the Haunted Mansion series, The Bride. I am so glad to have this in my collection, finally. This came out this year as a part of the Disney Haunted Mansion mer merchandise release for Halloween. She looks absolutely stunning, and she has a light-up candle, and so much more going on for her. She comes in a very awesome collector's box, but I will be unboxing mine because I want her on display. But don't worry, I'll be being very gentle, because I want to keep this box for the future. She comes in a really cool box, I'm not gonna lie, it's a really awesome box with a little story on the back with a bow and everything, which is really nice. It's pretty hard for you guys to see, so I'll read it out. Here comes the bride, Disney artist presents Constance Hatchaway doll, better known as the Black Widow Bride, who will be there through sickness and wealth with five husbands in her past. She is known for her, experience, sorry, her expensive taste. She comes bejeweled in her ghostly gown, ready to add some scare and flair to any fan's collection. And I picked this up from Disney Store. She comes with a certificate of authenticity. And I think she was around about 120 quid when we got her. Um, so the box does have a little lid here that just lifts off. Now I've, un now I've done the actual ribbon undone. So hopefully this should be pretty easy to... Oh no, maybe not. <laughs> I was hoping the whole front was going to come off there. But it just takes the this bit off. <laughs> okay, so we're into this part of the doll anyway. Now I'm guessing this part's going to come off. Okay. Disney, I've not made this easy to come out. I'm not going to lie, this is going to... I'm out. I'm hoping we can keep the box in some form of fashion. But I'm not sure we're going to be able to. I was hoping... Oh no, because it does come off here. I was hoping that they've done the same thing that they do with the Monster High, uh, you know, Mattel stuff. Which is like, have the plastic at the front just lift off. But it doesn't look like it wants to come away. Not easily, anyway. Here we go. Here we go. Please don't say the fastened at the bottom. Oh, yes! Okay. We're almost there. <laughs> We're almost there without breaking this thing to a thousand bits. Okay, now to get to get the doll out of the box. Oh, they've attached it all to the bottom of the box. Okay, I'm going to need to do this very carefully. So I am going to go away off camera, snip her out of the box, and be right back because I don't want to ruin this doll. Back two minutes. Okay, not gonna lie, that literally just took me about half an hour. That was ridiculous. Disney, why? Why so many rope ties? Why so many plastic pulleys? Why? It was a bit intense. And this is a 120 pound doll and I shouldn't have to jump through so many hoops to unbox a doll that I own. Um, the, the staples in the back of the head, which apparently all doll manufacturers like to do now, staple them to the damn box, but then you end up nearly ruining the hair trying to get it out. I understand this is meant to be a box set and that you're not really meant to open it, but if they were meant to, if they were going to do that and make it nigh on impossible to take out the box, then say that on the website. Say, do not remove this doll from box. You know, you may may risk ha damaging doll if removed from box. But it's a doll at the end of the day, and I want her on display, not in the box, but out the box. And Haunted Mansion, one of my favourite franchises in Disney World. So I needed, to, I, I, I needed, needed? I, I need Constance in my collection. Now, if we get the balance just right, the candle will stay. Um, you can keep the plastic rope ties uh, if you wanted to make it easier, but she will hold it. Um, it just takes a little bit of thing, but I did have it just before we had it on camera, but I've moved her, so it fell. But there is a way of balancing it against the fingers and stuff if you just get it get it right. I'm also doing it from the from behind, which is making it really hard. But there is a, a sort of way of doing it. There we go. Uh, the candle doesn't light up though, sadly. I assumed that candle lit up, and I don't know why, but it doesn't. Um, she does have a, re a really cool costume going on. Now, she's still got some rope ties around her feet and legs. Um, but that's like holding her in a certain position, which I like. Um, she's like got her legs sort of like crossed and it looks really cool. So I want to keep that pose for the shelf. So I'm leaving those rope ties on. I'm also leaving a couple of the staples around the bottom part of the dress. Because it creates like a... 
almost like a swirling sort of celestial kind of look like the ghostly appearance kind of look keeps it kind of ghosty but she does have feet under there if you want she's got big white boots on and she does have a display base that runs all the way up and she's got a nice solid plastic bomb base so she's never going to fall uh, which which is great and um, yeah I'm looking forward to adding her to my collection and on the shelf so I'm going to find a spot for her I'm going to show you guys her on desk cam and we'll take a close look let's do this now she is quite big she's a lot larger than I thought she was so I'm hoping she's going to be okay to fit up here next to Tiffany I think I think that's the spot I'm going to place her in hmm or do I move some of the dolls from here to have her featured I don't know or do I just place her behind here next to this Tiffany and just have her on display? I might do that. I might have her back here. I might move Oogie Boogie because there's quite a bit of shelf space back here. So I might move Oogie Boogie and have her on the opposite side of this Tiffany. That's probably going to be the best idea. Okay, onto the doll. Like I say, this Haunted Mansion Bride of Constance is beautiful. Loving that face sculpt as well. She looks so nice, the big eyelashes and stuff. She's got all the uh, all the pearl necklaces on from all the different husbands. And then if we move down, this is the hand that she's like got the way you put the candle. And she's got the, the hatchet down here. I love all the design on the dress. Beautiful. Like I say, this bottom part all swirling just kind of adds to the effect that she's a ghost. It is a beautiful doll. And like I say, I think they've done a cracking job at bringing Constance to life from the Haunted Mansion. Still not seen the film yet. Need to see the movie. But either way, I'm excited. This doll is just so good. And she's officially in her new home, surrounded by her monster friends. Awesome. <laughs> I do hope they make more dolls like this. I mean, who would not love them to make a hat box? Um, you know, that would be so cool. This is, I think, I think she glows in the dark, you know, because this is starting to light, light up a little bit. But... I'll find out tonight. If she does glow in the dark, I'll create a short video showing you. But either way, an awesome addition to the shelf. And I'm so happy to have bought this doll. We do have the certificate of authenticity to have a quick look at as well. Uh, Disney have not made this easy to get into. Do they ever? So, let's open that up. It's fine. I'm never selling this thing. Certificate of authenticity <laughs> certificate of authenticity bride collector doll limited edition doll released in 2023 has been carefully designed by disney artists to ensure every detail was cap was captured this collectible doll is sure to be treasured keepsake for many years to come the doll that i have is number 3892 out of 6000 units worldwide so only 6000 of these exist so she's definitely going to be something to keep in the collection and will become more and more harder to get as the years go on. So we'll keep that certificate nice and safe. Guys, what are your thoughts on the Haunted Mansion doll? Look at her right there. She's going to be in the background of every shot now. Guys, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video today, why not smash that subscribe button? Subscribing really supports us. It really helps us out and helps us to keep making awesome videos just like this. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Until next time, keep it creep. Bye!